Now, coming up in our next hour, we're going to be talking about Aussie pies and whether the tradition is being lost or whether things are improving. And we're going to be crossing over to award-winning pie maker in, uh, in Adelaide, uh, one who insists on you, and there he is now, he insists on using the best ingredients for his range of pies. And we've got some of them. We have. We've, we've got his party pies here. Yeah. We haven't tasted them all yet. They're obviously all sorts of different gourmet flavours. And we want to know what you think about the advent of the gourmet pie, for example. You know, like the Thai green curry chicken pie. Yeah. Or the satay beef pie. Yeah. I'm a bit of a fan of the curry beef pie. Are you really? Well, only because I like curry. Do you know? It's not real curry. Here's course. a question for you. Yes. A little piece of trivia related to pies. Mm. How many pies do you think <laughs> we eat in Australia every year? Oh. This is the gourmet pie and the old-fashioned pie, you know, the one that's hot and dribbles down your hands and oh, stuff like that. I don't like know. That. What if we got 20 million Australians yeah. and let's say we, uh, okay, well, let's say we average it, we eat um, one, no, one each. No, that's not with the babies because you won't. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, tw 30 million pies. Yeah. I don't know, what? 240 million pies a year. Yeah, of course it's we a average, year. We'd eat more than one a year. We average 12 a year. And given that I don't eat any, that means you've you eaten so 24. Do. You eat pies. See, I'm not much yeah. of a pie girl. Oh, I like pies. I have the odd pie. Yeah. But yeah, I don't and know. These, and, these and these gourmet pies, I mean, they're really special. And our guest in, uh, in Adelaide, big business, exporting overseas now, is I, gourmet pies. I have to say, I like the, the gourmet pie theory much better, because when I was a little kid, I never quite trusted the, what was in the pies. You know, you always heard the terrible that, stories you do. Well, school, let me tell you. About, the, you know, your pies. These pies, Billy Millicent's pies, <laughs> yes. they're the real thing. Yeah, well, that's the, the no gourmet thing has been very good for quality control. Now, yeah. do you, what do you think? We would like to hear from you. Is the Aussie pie still <laughs> all it was meant to be? You know, do you like the gourmet pies, or do you prefer the old beef pie? Send us an email, todayshow at nine.com.au. Tell us about the pies you like or the pies you hate, because we are hitting all the big issues on the show today. <laughs> we want to know. Coming up. News and weather, and then a woman on a mission determined to carry the Olympic story. torch her way. Brand new life. Brand new life. This is all. Iron behaviour ever caught on film. Plus, the great Australian meat pie goes gourmet. Now, in years gone by, you could walk into a pie shop and pretty much the only thing on the menu was your traditional meat pie and probably a sausage roll. Now, though, the choice is endless, with a growing trend towards what are known as gourmet pies. Billy Millisitz is hailed as Australia's pie guru. In fact, he makes quite a good living, let me tell you, out of exporting local pies around the world. And Billy joins us now from his factory in Adelaide. Good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. How long oh, you... Lovely to be on your show. It's a pleasure to have you on your show, and I have to tell you, from some of the email responses we've been getting, you've got a lot of supporters around the country. Life has been good to me, Steve, and over the last few years, um, especially the more the brand gets known and people uh, appreciate good food, I believe. That's what it's all about. Now, listen, how long have you been making pies? I've been in business 37 years. I started this business when I was 18. I had more guts than brains those days, <laughs> but, uh, you know, these days the stomach's growing and the brain's shrinking with age, but nevertheless, um, <laughs> I've been in business 37 years. I've been making pies for about uh, 27 years. I originally made continental cakes, and I decided to change the profile of Aussie pies a little bit. Well, you've certainly done that. I mean, at what point did you move from what we would call your traditional meat pie to the gourmet pie? I would say about seven years into the business, we looked upon the fact that people were looking for something different, um, flaky pastry, with export in mind, and. Uh, changing some tradition. Tradition is good to remember, nice to read about. It should never be forgotten. It's part of our history. But then traditional products, you know, things change, whether it's the wine industry, the food industry, clothing industry, everything changes, Steve. Is the, old, right, so, is, is the plain old meat pie dead? Not quite. There's still the traditionalists. There's nothing wrong with a real good meat pie if it's got real beef in it and real meat. Um, a lot of people's so-called meat, you know, is uh, so, well, how they call soya, vegetable protein. I'm disappointed that there's such a great Aussie tradition, and, and some people tend to 
you know, neglect how good it is and they can make it better. You know, so I'm out there to try and prove it can be better. Australians eat, I was telling Tracy just a short time ago, Australians eat something like 240 million pies a year. What percentage of your sales now would be gourmet pies? I would say around about 60% of all our products are beef rangdang, chicken satay, Hungarian goulash, steak and mushroom, curry, you know, then you've got uh, uh, beef and Guinness, you know, beef and uh, chunky beef and cheese, you know, real cheese in My a My mouth's of watering cheese. already. You know, so I would say 60% is a genuine thing that uh, how it's changing. And price is not the object anymore. Quality is. Yes. Tell, Definitely, I've lived by it. Tell me, has it been a case of converting your, your mm. Aussie who, you know, likes slurping his meat pie with the mince running down his hands, has it been a case of converting them or have you opened up a whole new market and attracted them to gourmet pies? I think a pie is meant to be eaten, not worn, you know, <laughs> so the idea is, you know, to have a chunk of meat in there and uh, something that people can hold in a hand and eat it with comfort. And, uh, and be confident that you're not going to wear it. Uh, on the other hand, um, initially it wasn't the greatest success. To be different, you send a different trend, it's not often successful initially. It took about 18 months to two years before people decided that short crust wasn't the way to go. Yeah. That the flaky pastry base was far better. It's leaner, it's meaner, it's lower on fat. You know, so people got health conscious as well. Billy, and just, so we make a... just on that point, how, how important is the pastry? I, I think that's half my product. Without, without a good solid pastry and uh, having something that's universal where flaky pastry is accepted anywhere in the world, short crust is more the Australian and the English version of a pie while we export to all these other countries. Can you imagine a spring roll that was soft and bent in your hand? <laughs> it would be terrible. Yeah, yeah. Right? But if you have it nice and crisp, people will eat it and we have broken religious barriers. We have broken cultural barriers with our exports. How big are exports now for you? It's heading to about 20% of our local market. It's uh, growing, uh, it took six, seven years before it really started to go. Currently, if you look at, we talk about the walkabout pubs in London, the slug and lettuce pubs, um, the, the oval in cricket in August, we start supplying it. If you look, if you go to Hong Kong, you can buy Billy's Pie. If you go to Singapore, uh, Dubai, you know, when an Aussie walks down the aisles of a, of a supermarket, can you imagine he sees an Aussie pie and he hasn't had one for six months? He's dying. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Well, it's good to see business is good. Yeah, some of the ingredients that you can see in front of me are a lot of the herbs and spices. We've even gone some of the native range, okay. like lemon, lemon myrtle, pepper leaf, a lemon myrtle parsley with a oh, pepper leaf. No, 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 stop. And a wild, wild Billy, berry. Stop, stop there. Stop right there. You know. I, you're torturing me. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> no worries. Good Thank on you. you. Thanks a lot. It sounds great. I still have to say, the meat pie hasn't been invented that I wouldn't wear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but you've got a perforated it's lower lip. It's operator error, definitely. <laughs> Coming up next, up close and personal with the king of the wild.